So, do you remember when a government agency in Ghana bought all these cars from Kantanka Automobile? It was a proud moment for the local automobile industry, a sign that Ghana was taking its own manufacturing seriously. But where is Kantanka now? And how is Ghana's automobile industry evolving? Let's find out. It all started in the year 1994. When Apostle Dr. Engineer Kojosafo Kantanka had a vision to build cars made in Ghana for Ghanaians. He didn't just assemble the vehicles, he designed and built them from scratch using local materials. By 1998, Kantanka had made its first fully built car with 75% of its parts sourced in Ghana. This was a huge achievement for a young company in an industry dominated by global giants. Over the years, Kantanka has expanded its range of vehicles. The Kantanka Onantefo, a rugged SUV built for both city and off-road adventures. The Kantanka Omama, a strong 4x4 pickup truck for tough terrains. The Kantanka Mensa, this is my favorite, a stylish mid size luxury sedan. The Kantanka Amwanima, a compact, fuel efficient car, perfect for city driving. The Kantanka K71, a small SUV that blends comfort and practicality. These vehicles were designed for Ghana's roads, made to handle everything from smooth highways to rough, dirty paths. But remember, Kantanka didn't stop at everyday cars. The company moved into security and defense. It built armored bullion vans for transporting money safely and even military vehicles for national security. This shows that Kantanka wasn't just about selling cars, it was about engineering solutions. Kantanka's early success shows that Ghana could build its own cars. This encouraged the government to develop policies to attract more automakers. Today, big brands like Volkswagen, Toyota, Nissan, and Kia have set up assembly plants in Ghana for the Ghanaian and the African market. This means more jobs, more investment, and more choices for consumers. But the journey hasn't been easy because global car brands have the advantage of scale and reputation. Many Ghanaians still prefer imported cars over locally made ones, and Kantanka has to find ways to increase production to meet demand. Despite these challenges, Kantanka is still in the game. With support from the government and innovation in production, the company has the potential to grow bigger, compete with global brands, and even export its cars to other countries. Kantanka's story is about more than just cars. It is about Ghana's ability to innovate and build for itself. From one prototype to a full-fledged automobile company, Kantanka has proven that local industries can succeed. And as Ghana's automotive industry grows, Kantanka car will soon compete on the global stage. So, what do you think about Kantanka and Ghana's car industry? Let's discuss it in the comment section below. And if you find this video interesting, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dive stories like this. And that is all for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao.